I was digging through my mound of boxes beside me and I found a subscription box that was shipped to me back on August 1st, 2019. So this got I have a bad habit of mixing boxes. I try to keep boxes kind of kind of by when I receive them, but then I get in more boxes and more subscription boxes and mystery box stuff like that. And I end up just getting lazy just putting the new stuff in front and then before I know it, everything behind the new stuff could be months old. And I was actually looking through my stack for the BAM box uh, from this month and I saw this one from August 1st so this might be like the July BAM box <laughs> so that's my bad um, so it looks like it's kind of thick is there a pop in the hair because I don't remember I know BAM box from time to time every couple months or back-to-back -back months they, they do sign Funko Pops and this is kind of the right thickness for a Funko Pop it looks like it might be the right thickness so this might have a pop in it I don't know I'm not even too sure if this is the July box or the August box for band box we'll find out there will be a cheat sheet here there should be at least kind of telling me uh, hopefully what, what month this is and uh, I'll try to get caught up on these band boxes a little bit faster because uh, I've got three more <laughs> so yeah I'm behind there is a pop in here there is a pop in here so this does have a signed Funko Pop so we've got black tissue paper just for stuffing I'm trying to keep this so I can't actually see it I kind of want a mystery so the band box I think is $35 a month plus shipping if I remember correctly it's actually like it's a pretty good deal um, I'll make sure to leave a direct link down below to the band box if you want to look into it they do a band box and kind of like a horror box and they're both good some months are really good some months are mediocre I mean it's like any subscription box out there not every single month's going to be like home run kind of month you know obviously because if, if it was places would go out of business so let me say this Funko Pop for last let me feel what else I f what is the coin? First thing, we have a coin. Okay. So, um, hmm. I am not sure where this coin is from. What show, what movie? I'm not sure. I should probably know this. I don't know. That's kind of bad, right? Let's see, what's next? Here's a monthly pen. Show you first. Oh, upside down. Uh, oh, that's Mysterio. Oh, cool. This is a Far From Oh, Spider Man Far From Home. Designed by Nick Kakaza. Fan art collection. We got Mysterio there, played by Mr. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake's actually going to be in Chicago in October signing autographs. And uh, I lost the lottery to meet him in person, but I don't. Actually, I lost the lottery for Jake Gyllenhaal. I lost the lottery for Chris Hemsworth. I lost the lottery for Brie Larson. I lost the lottery for everybody at Chicago Ace. Ace Comic Con, so I'm kind of bummed about that. But Jake's going to be there, and I would love to somehow find a way to meet him to get a pop signed by him, like the Mysterio Pop. But yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. It's actually a cool pin. I honestly don't usually keep pins, but I kind of like that pin, though. That's really neat. I like that one. I like it. Let's see. I think we've got a signed Funko Pop, and then the art print. I think that's it. Okay, there's the art print. Okay, there's the cheat sheet. Yeah, okay, so, but for 35 bucks, though, I mean, they can't really put a whole lot of stuff in here because the pop alone, pop retails for 10 bucks, plus you got to pay the autograph fee to the person who signs it. So the pop's going to cost them probably a minimum of 20 bucks. You know. So here we go. Here is the monthly art print. And we got. Oh, cool, Batman. I like that. 
So this is signed by the artist here in this corner. It's numbered 947 out of 3,000 art prints made. The back has certificate authenticity about the BAM box on it, and it says, BAM, BAM Pop Culture, certificate authenticity, this art print from our fan art collection titled Darkness, has been hand signed by artist Zach Sam Zouch for the BAM Pop Culture box and is guaranteed to be authentic. So that's actually a really cool art print. If there's some Batman fans out there, this should be awesome for your special Batman art print collection. So I do like that. That's actually, um, this kind of art I usually wouldn't really be cool with, but this the shading, the way it looks, I, I, I like that. This will go up on the wall. You can't see it behind the camera with the rest of my art prints. I like that. So we've, we've got one, one thing left. We have a signed Funko Pop. And I'm gonna try to find the back of it so I can pull it out easier. Okay, it is in actually a Pop Shield Pop Protector. I can feel the logo on, on the top of the Pop Protector. So there'll be a direct link down below if you want to get yourself a Pop Shield Pop Protector from 7BucksAPop.com, direct link down below. Um, they sell them in 10 packs, 100 packs, you can get a thousand pack if you want. And I actually use the Pop Shield Pop Protectors for all of my mystery boxes that I sell of Funko Pops. Here we go. Let me keep this thing down. A little bit of a mystery. Here we go. I I have no idea. I have no idea what this pop I think the last one that I got out of a pop culture band box, I think was the Bugs Bunny signed one. I think. That sounds right with the voice actor of Bugs Bunny. I think that was the last one. So here we go. Here's the next one. You ready? Three, two, one. So the back sh says Shazam. And we've got Darla. I know this is a child actress. Let me uh let me pull off the seven bucks of pop pop show pop protectors come with a film on the pop protectors that keep them getting scratched up while they're not being used yet then it just it peels off and then your pop protectors all nice and shiny and gleaming and looks all nice and neat so okay I'll just go ahead and pull it out too why not so this is this Funko Pop has been hand signed by Faith Herman who plays Darla Dudley in Shazam it was signed during a private signing for the BAM pop culture and is guaranteed to be authentic. So there's the authenticity card. So this is a child actress, so she signed it F.H. Hart, which obviously Faith, Herman, and then a heart. I actually still have not seen the Shazam movie. I actually bought it on digital, and I still haven't seen it yet. So, uh, pop condition... I'm picky about pop condition, especially for my signed stuff. This thing's mint. Um, hold on. They had a pop signed a few months ago by Pedro. Was it Pedro from Shazam, I think it was? I think, right? Yeah. So it looks like they've gotten two actors from Shazam to sign pops now. Um, Pedro and Darla. So, uh, like, value-wise on this, honestly... I don't know how desired Faith Herman is in terms of autographs. Um, like honestly, to be straight up honest, I won't be keeping this this pop. Um, I do collect signed collectibles, signed pops, signed anything of actors and actresses that I collect, people that I like, you know. And something like this, like I won't keep in my collection just because I don't even know who this actress is. I have no clue. And I've never even seen the movie yet. So there's something like this I will end up selling or using this trade bait down down the line. But I mean it's a cool pop. It looks nice. The autograph looks nice. The purple pin really came out nicely on the window of this pop. So Bane Box, good job on this box. It's just this isn't the kind of signed pop that I would keep in my collection. The Bugs Bunny I thought was freaking cool. And I think there might have been one before that also. But oh the uh, Daniel Logan signed the Boba Fett, or the, yeah, yeah, the Boba Fett pop, right? Yeah. So, I mean, they've, they've, they've had some good months with the Funko Pops and some, where I'm like, eh, I don't know if I actually want to keep it, but 
I'm sure they'll be doing more signed Funko Pops in the future. And uh, maybe I'll get one out that I really want to keep. But yeah, so this this band box, what is the value of it? Oh, here's the cheat sheet. Um, the pop, I, I, I put a value, the pops were 10, the autograph, 10, 15 bucks, so combined, signed pop. I'd say what, maybe as high as $25 for this pop if you actually wanted to sell it. The art print I think is ultra cool, lots of Batman fans. I'd say it's a good $10 right there. So those two things I'd say were $35. And then this coin, I don't know what it is yet, and this, another $10. So I'd say this box is probably worth about $45. Maybe as high as $50 depending on the value of the pop. So no matter what, you're going to get more back than what you paid, so that's nice. Oh, this is the July box. <laughs> yeah, I'm a few months behind on my band boxes. There's the cheat sheet. So, uh, sign pop. You had a possible two different art prints. I got this one. The coin. John Wick go. Okay, I've never seen John Wick. Part 1, 2, or the new Part 3. So that's why I didn't know what it was. I've never seen John Wick. I should see it. It's very popular. A lot of people love John Wick, but I've never seen it. The John Wick gold coin prop. The only currency you need at the Continental Hotel is one of these gold coins. Now you can pay your bar tab or higher clearance. So this, this is a, this is like a replica coin prop from John Wick. I know John Wick is a very popular movie. This actually might be worth 10 or 15 bucks by itself. I'm really not too sure, but that's what we got. That is the July 2019 BAM Pop Culture Box. A few months behind, but I'll get caught back up again. So I'll see you next time, and I'm out.